A warning to viewers, this video contains positive content that may not be suitable for viewers who are expecting a perma-bear narrative. So what's happening in the markets? Well, the driver of the cyclical up crash first kicked off in early October when Fed Chair Powell noted the Fed will soon announce steps to add to reserves over time through purchases of T-bills. About the same time, many Fed officials began setting up the October rate cut, which some thought was in question. So we answer that question on Wednesday. Also, news last week that China passed a law that will protect IP rights of foreign businesses operating in the country. The simple fact that they passed this is a very positive signal that China is willing to bend on a major sticking point in the negotiations. The bottom line is there's much more positive tone in the U.S.-China trade talks than we've seen all year. The ball is now in Trump's court as the risk is now clearly with China as China would now rather strike a deal with Trump than with Warren. Isn't it funny how quickly the tables can turn? And thirdly, the European Union is providing more economic stimulus. But the big market driver is that these three forces are now moving together. So hang on. And let's take a look at the charts. And we're looking at the 20-year monthly chart on the Spiders, the SPY, and the close on Friday was 306.14, a new record high. The other indices may not be at record highs, but uh, that's okay. We'll just start here with the Spiders, and we'll bring you those indices uh, in subsequent videos. But for now, things are looking good. We bounced off of that 50 EMA way back there in late 2018. It ran back up above that 20 EMA, and we've been riding up along that uh, top side of the 20 EMA. Now, keep in mind, this is not going to be a straight line up. There is going to be some volatility, but it still looks good. Moving down into the MAC, pretty much the only thing we need to see is this here, this area there. Now, the fast line moved above the slow line a while ago. I hadn't shown it to you, but we're looking at it now. If you remember, I told you that this formation looks very similar to this formation here in 2015-2016, and it's still proving to be true with the fast line moving through the slow line and now starting to accelerate. We're also at that uh, level 10, so we have good strength all the way above that zero line, all the way up here, good strength. Into the histogram, you can see the bottom and then the run. Moving down into the price rate of change, it's a little bit behind, but you could still see that bottoming process. The fast line should turn and head up and may head up into that 50 line there. Into the relative strength, we're at a moderate 65.99, but definitely you can see the strength there. And I would imagine this is going to start heading up into that overbought territory. Into stochastics, same thing. Volume looks fine. And then the Williams looks good too. That bottom there in late 2018, from that point, the Williams ran straight up into that overbought territory and has stayed up there with the exception of this uh, downtrend here. But for the most part, for much of 2019, the market has stayed above in that overbought territory, at least as indicated by the Williams. That's good news, and that often precedes your price chart. Back up to the price chart. So again, we're at a record level here. So in my humble opinion, that axe that is being sharpened by the axe man, at this point in time, it's probably just a nub, and I'm really not too concerned with it. So keep on rolling. Watch your stocks, be prudent in your decisions, and that window of opportunity of getting the good prices is nearly over. So for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.